Tonight, from M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland, it's the AFC Championship Game. Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs taking on Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. The road to a Super Bowl goes to Baltimore. and turns it loose, good things happen downfield. And they'll begin by running the option. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll be ridden out of bounds all the way down at the 15-yard line. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt it. First down. Well, you know, most quarterbacks, when you talk about your big playability, you talk about the arm, but this, an absolutely huge play with a leg. And also with his mind, because he had to see this play develop in order to make the decision to keep it and run. And how about him looking up and seeing the C's part for him once he got past the line of scrimmage? My first thought, I think he can go all the way, and I'm trying not to take over your call of this play, partner. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. As you see, they have dealt with their fair share of injuries this season, but uh, Charles, that hasn't stopped them from putting together a very solid campaign, a very good record thus far. I think a lot of credit has to go internally. Look, we always want to praise the head coach for holding the team together, but to me, it's the guys in the locker room putting on the uniform. Those starters have stayed healthy. They've welcomed the backups into the ranks and showed them how to get it done. And this team, they've stayed afloat all season doing just that. So that flag obviously takes away the good yardage that they had on the play. And talk about a momentum shift because we can visibly see this celebration shifting from one side of the field to the other as soon as everyone saw the flag. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Throwing is Jackson. There's Flowers. He's got it. Touchdown, Ravens. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens are on the board first here in this AFC Championship game. So they take the opening kickoff and drive it all the way down the field. And that's the last thing you want defensively. On the road, in the playoffs, and now you're down a touchdown right the right. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead it 7-0. Drive there, just four plays, and it's capped off by the Baltimore score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Hardman, he is not going to bring this out, so they will start the drive at the 25. Here's the Chiefs offense for their first possession, and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press, and one team gets an advantage, our team's trying to run with them, and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not, just settle in, get caught before you go for the big strikes. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. 
Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as well, the glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well. Every now and then, they don't come down with the football. That one caught by Rice. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Here is third down and four. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he fires one, but incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Fourth down, so Kansas City sends out Tommy Townsend. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. This is brought in at the 21. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And the Ravens will take over. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. To the right side, into the hands of Flowers. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up when they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Jackson options out left. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. Here's second and three. They'll run. This is Gus Edwards. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's the big fellas at home right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. They'll run the toss here. Edwards. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29 yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Any team that runs the toss and runs it successfully, that means they win the battle on the edges. That means you seal the edge in order to let your back get to the corner. They got it done there for a very nice game. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up second down. They'll run. This is Melvin Gordon. Down right around the 25. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. From the gun, Jackson. That's complete. Left side to Bateman. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to make it fourth down. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. The Chiefs offense set to go. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. They go play fake. Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. Tally that is catch number one for him in this AFC championship. It's a first down. 
And the tight end is certainly in position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is that right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and one. To throw, it's Mahomes. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. from the gun, Mahomes. A quick throw, but incomplete. Well, we keep stats on everything, don't we? This is one that you don't want to have. That's a second drop right here in the first quarter. Yeah, I was going to say, only in the first quarter. Certainly a shift that he wants to right quickly. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. On first and ten, here's Mahomes, and he slings one that's incomplete. Yeah, their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now Mahomes. That'll be caught. It's Tony. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Tally that is catch number one for him in this AFC championship. It's a first down. And coming into this ball game, this was an offense that wasn't just talking about the notion of ball control. They were preaching it. They wanted to win the time of possession battle, and they've done so here. This drive's taken up quite a bit in the first quarter. Now they are set up first and goal. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. Second and goal from the one. Throwing now is Mahomes. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now you've got third and goal coming up. And can you imagine being in that hole, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Noah Gray punching it in from a yard away. And the Chiefs are back within a score. Certainly there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast, but a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired, but the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering, what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys? Extra point by Butker is on target, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Returning it just as Hill. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. On second down, it's Edwards. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down.
They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. The facing fourth down, Baltimore will punt. Jordan Stout out there. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Jadavian Clowney able to get him for a loss of about three. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. But following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Mahomes going to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. The offense on third down today. They've been good. Three for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And nothing but green grass here. Middle and they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. They needed inches, but they got yards and plenty of them. And that often happens when everyone's stacked near the line of scrimmage when, as you said, all you need are inches. So you bring people closer to it. If you pop it free as he did there, it's a lot of grass available for him to run on. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I like his awareness in the pocket there. Nowhere to go with the football. So instead of forcing it to the sideline, he's just going to put this one into the harbor and live to fight another down without getting wet. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Adafi Oway from his outside linebacker spot gets him down there for a loss of four. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes. And the Chiefs. They'll set up to throw. And they'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short. And it'll be fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. They'll be turning. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation. Big third down alert, lock in here. Fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Three yards to go on second down, and they've got three tight ends out there. Jumbo set. Here's Jackson. On target to his man, likely. Second catch in this AFC title game, but he's got a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. There he goes, right side. PAT. 
It's good to make it 17-7. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. Tucker down to kick it away following the touchdown. And bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bit of taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 39 yards there, a big one. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football player. Absolutely, pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Meanwhile, the home throw taken in by Valdez Scantlin. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A good pickup there, 21 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now here's Mahomes. Now he's got it. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Pacheco, no signal, and now they say he did not get in. He is stonewalled at the one. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. He'll try again. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs have got it back to within a score. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Ravens offense back out there. But right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Here's second and seven. They run once more with Edwards. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Third down and six. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. 
That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. Things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Now a second and ten. Quick throw caught by Rice. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. First down, Mahomes. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's caught inside the 30. A big play there for KC. 43 yards. This is what happens when you get Patrick Mahomes time to throw. I know people worry about him moving out of the pocket. But if he stays in there and you give him extra time, that big arm, he's going to find someone open downfield. AFC title game, second quarter action, two minutes to play. A reminder that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman from Orlando. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. Mahomes to throw once more. He right, tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Ravens force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Before he came up to the booth, Last thing he said, we were walking off the field. Went to play mistake-free football. That just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit. That's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. After the interception, here's Jackson. A short one there, caught by Likely. It'll go as a gain of four, and it's second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 31-yard line. Now it's Jackson. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. Now Jackson on first down. Going right back to Beckham here complete. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Given back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And Jackson throwing once more. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world. No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. Sets up the screen to Gordon. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Tucker's kick is good. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. They already had the early lead and they get the interception, Charles, and now they have three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're controlled by this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're 
expanding on it, getting players on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. Harmon will elect not to bring this out. And the football will be on the 25-yard line. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. To the right side, it's Kelsey. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Roquan Smith. And the Ravens are going to have the short field here as they take over right at the 50. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly have their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it. And that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. Finds his man over the middle. It's likely the Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw is on target to Likely. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. Tucker's kick is good, and that will make this a nine-point lead. So the turnover leads to points as they had three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice win for them. They forced the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. Chris take it in at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we are halfway home to figuring out who will represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks as always. One half remains in the battle to see who will take home the Lamar Hunt Trophy and represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. We saw a terrific first half from the dual threat quarterback, Lamar Jackson. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. One more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC Championship. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. And they have work to do in the second half if they want to earn that berth to the Super Bowl. And I'm pretty sure this is where their coaches at halftime were saying don't panic and then demonstrating it by not making a lot of drastic changes to the game plan. Let's just get back to doing what we've been doing all year long. That should be more than good enough. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Quick throw caught out wide by Valdez Scantling. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Mahomes now the throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Mahomes now on first down. Yeah, a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first. 
first before you come back to make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. sunshine and go play it's a first down his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half now Mahomes short throw hauled in by Kelsey and this winds up a gain of four to the 41 second down and six now Throwing now is Mahomes. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Tony. Second catch of this AFC title game, and he's got a first down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. That ball caught. It's Rice. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it into double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Mahomes going to throw. His throw incomplete. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're taking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more. And it is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco. He scored on the ground through the air and the Chiefs have cut it back within a score getting your back involved what's the importance there in the passing game well oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him and you get him into space which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands it oftentimes makes people miss gets that run after the catch and Harrison off he goes and into the end zone Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead is down to two. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. On second down, Jackson. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Here is third and five. Jackson from the shotgun. My rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception returned for a touchdown, and this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a little bit. Let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. And boy, that sure turned out well for them. Butker now to add the extra point. And the lead is up to five. 
A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Ravens ready to take over. Remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Running left is Edwards. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he's struggling, especially in that first half. Yeah, I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. From midfield now, here's Jackson. Complete to Lankley. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. And this offense can get their tight ends involved. They can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Edwards now on first and ten. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. From the 38 now, here's a second and seven. Jackson options out left. Nice some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. A good chunk on the ground on the keeper. 17 yards, first down. Up the middle, it's Edwards. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A good game again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. They'll run here with Edwards. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the 7 down to the 4-yard line. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Edwards. Going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They'll look to run with Edwards. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. That was a huge play on third down. So now what? Do you go for it? Do you trust your offense? Or do you want to put on your defense to try and get the ball back? Me? I'm going for it right here. Tucker's kick is good. And that will cut the lead down to just two. So give him three on that drive. And, you know, normally you'd say we'll take it, but their points have been flying around. It feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder. Our field goal is going to be enough because, as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't miss your turn on offense. I like the way you phrased it, especially with that. I love that rocking and rolling because the explosions on offense are happening. So that's going to get the crowd going. They're loving that. But defensively, they just can't get it together to get the stops they've needed in order to help increase their margin. They've got to find a way. But you're not counting on it. It's exactly what you said. Can't miss your turn. Can't miss your opportunity. Yeah, they're going for another opportunity now. 53 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Oh, 
On play action, it's Mahomes. That'll be caught. It's Tony. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one goes for 24 yards. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 36. To throw, it's Mahomes. That is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Throw left side, complete to Tony. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 21. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. One quarter remains for the right to go on to the Super Bowl. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. Mahomes now on first down. And it's caught. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That's to the pylon and incomplete. Down this close to the goal line. First down. Surprised that wasn't a run. I am. And you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation. Because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. And yeah, he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Chiefs are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. So a heck of a drive right there with the game potentially hanging in the balance. A very good drive, and now a conversion to make it a two-score game and a solid lead. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes this a nine-point game. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Pater. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Hill going to sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And they are in need of points here, no doubt about that, with a Super Bowl berth on the line and trailing here in the fourth quarter. This possession, gigantic. first and ten it's Jackson he'll get this to Flowers left side and he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32 they'll operate from the 32 yard line here second and three Jackson that's just flat out a terrific play because it's rare that you see a hitch route batted down that means someone read that one really well and was right on the spot when the ball got to the receiver Jackson looking to throw on third. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Ravens first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And they run with Edwards off the option. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size... This intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you come up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. 
Off the option, here's Edwards. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Now a second and six. Now it's Jackson. A short one there, caught by Likely. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. The offense on third down tonight, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This will be third and six. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. And his kick is good. Cool. He got every bit of that one as it's good for 56 yards out. And that'll move him back within six now. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And out come the Chiefs now. And right now, they're just looking for a little more cushion, trying to make this a two-score game. Points here would go a long way, obviously, to propelling them into the next round. And this is where the head coach, offense coordinator, they've had to set a tone all year round about what they do on offense. So most teams want to stay in attack mode, but you have to do it with some bit of caution, don't you? Because you can't come away with no points. You need these points here in order to feel a lot better about where they are in this game. But this time of the year, playoffs, game of this magnitude, this is what we hope for. Yeah, it's exactly what we hope for. You want to run your offense cautiously, but not so cautiously that you just give it up. He's up now to 80 yards receiving in the ball game, and he's got a first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Lowry caught up by Rice. And he's brought down. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. And he's taken down inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. They go play action, now Mahomes. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Call it a gain of 14 for the second play in a row. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Mahomes to throw once more. And throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. And when you throw as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the other guy was going to catch it. Was sitting in the third row. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. 
Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Sets up the screen to Gordon. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now Jackson on second down. That's going deep for Bateman. And that's caught inside the 35. Sean Bateman, 81 yards. And the Ravens have made it a one-score game again in the fourth. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Tucker now to add the point after. And the lead is down to two. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And now here comes Kansas City. And the pressure mounting with every passing minute. It's palpable right now. They're on top in the fourth quarter, clinging to that lead. A potential Super Bowl berth resting on their ability to manage the clock and manage that small lead. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as he's able to take this up to the 30-yard line. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeout in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And that's the one that should seal the victory. And they will take a knee here. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football, I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't have any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw, quick throw out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slam or something like that. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And the Chiefs are AFC champs, as we say good night, everybody. the books on the conference championship for Charles Davis, myself, Brandon Gunn, and our entire crew. We'll talk to you in two weeks from the Super Bowl.